What is up, people? Terry here from Blunt Trips coming to you from Olinger Highlander Cemetery here in Thornton, Colorado. And today I am here to tell you the story of a murder victim and also a serial killer. Let's get started. So, today's victim that I am telling you about is Carolyn Walker, age 18. Carolyn was last seen the 4th of July. This is my second 4th of July murder that I'm telling you about. The first one was in my Colorado Dead Men Walking series. This one's a different story though. This one's about a murder victim from a serial killer who stalked Aurora from 1975 to 95. But in my investigation, I found out there wasn't just one serial killer here from 1975 to 95. There wasn't just two serial killers here during that same time frame, working in this same area. There's actually at least three, but we're going to rule out one of them today. Let me tell you about the serial killer that we're ruling out first, because we know he isn't the one involved and Donna Sue Wayne's death and he's not suspected in Carolyn Walker's death as well. Vincent D. Grooves is responsible for at least 13. He was convicted on two and suspected as for as many as 20. In fact, the state of Colorado believes that Vincent Groves is actually uh, actually has more bodies than any other serial killer in the state of Colorado in history. I'm going to read off a couple of Vincent D. Groove's uh, victims here real quick. A couple that we, uh, the state of Colorado has confirmed that he's killed or highly suspects that he has. The first one is Juanita Lovato, age 19, of Denver, Colorado. She was found in Adams County on April 29th, 1988. Second victim, Deanne Mansierra, 25, Mansierra, sorry, of Denver. She was found in Douglas County on July 26th, 1988. Both of these victims, Vincent Groves was found guilty for. Vincent's also suspected of Rhonda Fisher, age 30, found in April of 1987 in Douglas County. Pamela Montgomery, 35, of Denver, found August 14, 1988, in Denver, in a Denver alley. Carolyn Buchanan, 35, found August, 9, August 12, 1988, in Denver. Joyce Ramey, 23, of Denver, she was found the 4th of July as well, of 1979, in a field east of Stapleton International Airport. Faye Johnson, 22, of Denver, found in Arapahoe County on, July, on January 30th, 1988. Jeanette ba Baker, 17, of Denver, found June 11th, 1978, in Jefferson County. Zebra Mason, 19, of Lakewood. She was found September 1987 in Lakewood. Juanita Mitchell, 25, out of Waco, Texas. She was found April, in April of 1981 in a motel room in Aurora, Colorado. Pamela Morgan, age 17, of Denver. She was found June 2, 1981 in a hotel room in Aurora, Colorado. Norma Jean Halford, 21, of San Jose. Her body was never found. Her car was abandoned in a creek in Clear Creek County in August 1979. Cynthia Boyd, 19 of Denver. She was found February 1980 in Adams County. That case is still open, as well as a few others that I have mentioned. Detectives also think Groves tried to rape a woman in Adams County in 1982 
and tried to kill a prostitute in Denver in 1988. He was never charged in the rape and was acquitted in the murder. He was also previously convicted for second-degree murder for the 1981 strangulation of Tammy Woodrum, age 17. He is only charged, as I said, with two of the 15 victims that were linked to him. Two of the names I did leave out because they later did clear him of being the suspect in their murders. Now, I am going to tell you right now, he is not a suspect in Donna Sue Wayne's murder, who I covered in Shag Nasty Part 2, as well as the victim that I am going to tell you about right now. Today's victim is Carolyn Walker, age 18. And according to investigators, the same person that killed Donna, Sue Walker, I'm sorry, Donna Sue Wayne is probably the same person that killed Carolyn Walker. Carolyn Walker disappeared on the 4th of July as well, 1987. After meeting with her fiance, she borrowed his car that night. This girl was not a prostitute. This girl got in a car that had a bad transmission and broke down. That was her story. That's how she got found. After the abduction, she was raped and strangled. During the course of the investigation, police found no incriminating evidence or witnesses, despite the fact that Walker likely resisted fiercely. She was a good swimmer, did gymnastics, and had considerable physical strength. On July 5th, 1987, Carolyn Walker's body was found in a ditch near the 21,100 block of East Colfax Avenue. The cause of death was strangulation and a blow to the head. On the previous night, July 4th, Carolyn, as I said, had been with her boyfriend, her fiance, and she borrowed his car. She left his residence in the 1600 block of Moline Street. That was the last time anybody seen or heard from Carolyn Walker alive. On July 7th, 1987, her boyfriend recovered his vehicle. It was parked in a parking lot of an apartment building on 13th Street and Colorado Boulevard. This crime has not been solved. If anybody can remember anything from that night around 13th Street and Colorado Boulevard, I will show this girl's picture. If you can remember anything, seeing this girl broke down on the side of the road, this is how she got picked up that night. She wasn't out being a prostitute. She wasn't walking or working the streets. She broke down. There is a possibility that on July 4th, late at night, around 13th Street and Colorado Avenue, somebody could have possibly seen her stranded on the side of the road. Somebody could have possibly seen the person that killed her. Now, I'm not going to go over the details of, the, of what a witness saw from Donna Sue Wayne's murder, because it may or may not be the same killer. Colorado has had at least two known serial killers between 1975 and 95 and none of the two have matched up to either one of the murders I have covered so far so that tells us there's at least one more serial killer that was working the streets in Aurora Colorado in the Denver area between 1975 and 95 so I ask you guys to go back and look at my Shag Nasty series part two Look at that case, see if anybody may have remembered something that could have been in the Denver or Aurora area around between 1975 and 95. 
And if there's any details on any of these cases or anybody you think of that might have matched the description in the first case, please don't hesitate to call the Aurora Police Department. I don't have a description nor details for the serial killer that put uh, Carolyn Walker in the grave. I don't have any details on them. There was no witnesses. There was no evidence. Again, she was strong. She fought back. But in that time, DNA was not like it is today. All right. I am going to wrap up this case. Again, this is an old one. But that doesn't mean somebody doesn't see, hasn't seen or heard something or remember something. Maybe somebody told a story about this at one time, bragged about this crime, anything. If you guys have any small detail about this murder or the murder of Donna Sue Wayne in the time frame that I have covered, it was around, those two murders were between 1985 or 86 and 88. If you have any details, don't hesitate to call the Aurora Police Department. All right. I am going to wrap this one up. I think I've covered all the details. It is getting ready to storm out here. So uh, I got to get heading back over to Aurora. I'm about 20 minutes away, and uh, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Till next time, y'all fuckers stay cool.